Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. This is Corbin Carroll. The pitch. And a foul ball. And now the count is even. One ball, one strike. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Lifted in the air, out to left. Kelman moving under it. Nabs it. And there's one away. Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lavello. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Right side, hard hit. Albies over to first in time. They get the out on Marte. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. That's a ball. Christian Walker stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Just missed. Down. Inside, no, just missed. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. 3-1 is on the way. Top of the zone for a called strike. Two out, space is empty. Two down, nobody on. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Nothing doing for Arizona. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit were scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Truist Park. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Acuna in 2023 with about as impressive a power speed combination season as we have ever seen. Misses inside. off the inside and it's 2 0. Oh. The Braves always liked Acuna, but consider for a second, he was signed for $100,000 in 2014 out of Venezuela. So they liked him, but he wasn't some monster prospect. He ended up growing into one of the top young prospects in all of baseball. 
Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Pitch misses, and it's a full count. Full count. Boots it. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. One out, base is empty. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So one gone with a runner at third. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Top of the zone for a strike. Going to one. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. And there's the strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Deal two. And he chases that one. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here is Matt Olson. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs with a runner at third. Check yep. swing. Went around. And the count is 0-2. Two outs. One, two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. is inside two balls two strikes just off the outside edge Marcelo Zuna in the on deck circle hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here runner at third two away center field he's under it He's got it, and that is out number three. One left for Atlanta, scoreless after one. Back here in Atlanta, second inning, set to go. Leading off, Jack Peterson. 
Peterson. Strider back to work. And a ground ball that's to first. Foul. And that's just foul. Strider, an all star a season ago, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2020. That one outside, and it's one and one. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And another ball. Foul ball. Another 2-2 upcoming. Peterson swings, mashes one deep to right. Acuna going back, hits the fence. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Man at second. Tied him up inside with that one. In the dirt. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Go ahead run at second. Here at the top of the second. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Run scores easily. And it's one nothing. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. Base knock right field. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Alec Thomas now. High fly ball down the left field line. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Cut off. Now a throw home. The tag out. The base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time play to cut down a run. It's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And that drops in for a strike. Thomas, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Runner at second, two down. That one's in there, and that's strike two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. He doesn't get the call. Two and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch in the outside corner. On the ground to third. On to first. They limit the damage here. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Braves nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Ozuna, multi-time All-Star, 33 years old, and though usually in left field, today he's the designated hitter. The right-hander back to work. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Here's your one. Good no. eye in that spot. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. Out to short. Perdomo. Zips it across. One up, one down. That is good. No seven field. Next to hit, Michael Harris. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. The D-backs trying to protect a two-run lead. Bottom half of inning number two. Got him swinging. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. So here's Murphy now. First pitch misses. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his no. life was the outfield. Just off the outside edge, and the count is 2-0. Oh. No. And a good oh, eye there. Point. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So, man aboard. Now in for the Braves, Jerry Kelman. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed.
Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. That's in there. And a count is 0-2. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Braves strand one. They trail it here, two nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Strider back to work. Very high with that one. And that's ball one. Foul ball there. The 1-1. One, one. To the right side. Albies whips it to first on the run. And one away in the top of the third. The batter. The second baseman. Cattell Marte. Here's Cattell Marte. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Oh, and a no oh count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. One one. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Strike three on the foul tip. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Walker in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Now fly ball to right center. Acuna after it. Makes the play and it's out number three. And we're back. Lady Bottom of the Orlando inning. Brown. Here's Orlando Arcia. Not shortstop. Orlando. For the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. Just off the inside edge. And a 1-1. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Right into the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. Sliced hard but foul.
swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. The Diamondbacks leading by two here in the last half of the third. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Carroll makes the catch. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And that's downstairs and outside. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Oh, Next three. offering misses. Full count now. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Austin Riley. Struck out swinging his first time. 1 0. This one in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Runner on the go. Pitch is low. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two out RBI. Albies at second with two down. That oh. one misses. That's five straight. These fans, they are. Ready to cheer about something. Matt Olson waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. And that one oh, off the inside edge. You walked him. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. So first and second with two outs. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. And that misses as well. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Swing and a miss. And one and one. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. One ball, two that misses the zone, and the count is two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. So the tying run at second. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. 
good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving, and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. So now the DH spot, Marcelo Zuna, grounded out his first time. Now a check swing, but he held up. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Had him out front for strike three. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. As we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Jack Peterson. Jack Peterson. The why to kick the pitch. That one finds the zone. One one. And strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the ball, I'm going right back in there. And that just misses. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Ball and that's two. in the dirt. No, Next offering is down low. Good spot oh, there, yeah. but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. And there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. You know, these D-backs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Rudder at first with no outs here. Not even close there. It's two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Defender for the strikeout. I gotta think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now, and he's already singled in this game. Shut Just down. missed.
And the right hander deals. Yeah. Swings oh. through that one for strike two. One, two. Man at first, one away. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Next to hit for Arizona, Alec Thomas. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Right through there for a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Left-hand hitter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Another one, two. This ball's chopped on the ground. Flips it behind his back. They get the force, and that'll do it. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Diamondbacks two, and the Braves nothing. Back at Truist Park, bottom four. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. The wind of the pitch. A little no, bit low. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. That Ball. misses. Two and one. Two balls. One strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. And another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. Can't glove it cleanly to first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Here's Sean Murphy. One for one with a single so far. There's a strike. The D-backs holding on to a two-run lead. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Last ball for a strike, and it's nothing in two. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Next offering down low and in the dirt. That one missed. One down, base is empty. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and he can't make contact. Here's Jared Kelnick. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. That Three one run. finds the corner. And it's 0 and 1. Two outs. 
ball. No. Ball. And now Let's two balls down. and a strike. Line drive caught. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here in Atlanta, and now it's going to be Lourdes Goriel Jr. Goriel. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. And the 0-2. Oh. Sets him down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. And that one ripped to left. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Digging in, Corbin Carroll. That's in there. And that's strike one. Two down, nobody on. And ball one. That one down the line and foul ball. And that's off the inside edge. Two and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 3 nothing. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. Could tell Marte up to the plate. That yeah. catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Two outs. Ball. And that's outside. And that's ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Picks up strikeout number seven. Another run for Arizona with this bomb. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. Arcia. The pitch. No. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Right-hander kicks deals. Slides for the stop to first. It's there, and that's a great play. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. Junior. So the batting order turns over, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. That's in for a strike at 95, going one. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit, knocks it down. And he beats it, he's safe. All over that one right there. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One gone runner at first. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. 1 0. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. The 1 0. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. The Braves trailing by three. Last half of inning number five. Acuna runs. There's a ball. Throw to second. Great jump. Drilled to right. Way back there. And that is gone. Be going crazy in the dugout. It's 3 2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed, they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. So good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. He don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Torrey Lavello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Zach Gallant is done, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. New pitcher now, Paul Seawall. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. So one out, nobody on. And yeah, the batter now, Austin Riley. Out front and foul to the left side. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Ball, Just no. missed. One ball, one strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And a one-two. 
And Love another it. ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Three two now. That's a really good take. Matt Olson on deck for Atlanta. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Ball well, four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. One down. Here's Matt Olson. He's 0 for 1. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And that one fouled off. Late swing, foul to the left. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. So it's their last chance in this one. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Right down to shoot. It's 0-1. pitch that one off the bad part of the bat just a lazy fly ball he's got it ball game and the Diamondbacks strand the tying run on base to win it well this was a tightly played game got a little of everything some timely hitting runs on the board key pitching and defense in certain spots definitely a fun one to watch a 3-2 final score in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.